my beautiful people welcome back to another video today we're starting the holiday vlogs today's the first one i'm really excited we are going to do some holiday decor shopping and then i'm going to set up my christmas tree i feel like it's finally time we recently had the first snow so there's like this light beautiful dusting of white fluff everywhere i am dressed and ready to go winter whites that is my vibe for this year but we are headed out i'm gonna go meet alan at the eaton center and we're gonna do a little bit of some decor shopping holiday shopping and just get in the christmasy mood drink now we can head to the mall and do our holiday shopping hello All right, we just got back. We grabbed my Christmas stuff from my locker downstairs. It was not the most successful Home Sense haul. I got one thing because they did not have the other stuff that I saw that I liked at Home Sense. Because when I went home for a weekend, I went to the Home Sense in like my hometown, and they had really cute stuff, but I didn't have my gift card, so I didn't get anything. And they only had one of the things that I liked, which is really pretty. And it's this green ceramic deer because I wanted to do like this pastel green and like green sort of Christmas decor because I love Christmas decor, but I'm definitely more on the minimal side. Um, but they had these matching ceramic, like different height ceramic trees and they didn't have any at my home sense. So I'm going to keep going back and seeing if they get any in. So for now, this is my only Christmas decor besides my tree, which we are going to put up now and decorate. guys it is sunday i am dressed we are just about to head out to church but the santa claus parade is also on this morning so alan and i thought that after church we'd go and watch that because our church is kind of close to one of the watch points so that is kind of what is up this morning i have never been to the santa claus parade downtown toronto so i'm actually really excited to see what it's like this year but it's also freezing cold out it's negative 10 out today it is the coldest day so far this year. So I am gonna be definitely bundled up. Also, I just got this sweater in from Revolve. It's L'Academy and I am obsessed. 
it's reminding me of this Estonian sweater that I had as a kid growing up just with the patterns and the colors and like the fit as well and so it is making me really really happy this morning and then I also just did a little bit of some light makeup because I was feeling like doing just a little bit of something this morning um, but yeah I'm just grabbing my purse and we are headed on our way out It's so cute, bro. We're waiting for the Santa Claus parade. We have our spot, the people are starting to come. We got coffees. And then tonight, the plans have changed a little bit. We're gonna go over and we're gonna make a gingerbread house and watch a movie tonight. Hello. It's the whole We didn't buy the like silver things from Bulk Barn, so we just made some with tin foil and somehow have to break the pieces apart to make the village. I've never seen this before, but we had to break them apart ourselves and we were like mangling all of the pieces. Like, this is sad. We have four houses in our village. The fifth one kind of collapsed and didn't work, but the other one's all good. Good morning, you guys. I just made myself a little cup of tea. But this morning, I actually am going to class, obviously. But I have my grad photos today. So that's very exciting for those of you that are newer here. I'm in my last year at university. And so today I have my grad photos. So I need to fix up my hair and my makeup a little bit so that I don't want to have to retake these. We want it one and done. And I need them to look good because these are forever going to be <laughs> my graduation photos besides like photos kind of near and around the actual day of grad. These are like my professional grad photos that are going on the convocation thing and like yeah, so I need to do some good makeup, but I thought I'd bring you guys along just for the grad photo portion of today. I know it's not really holiday-y, but like I really wanted to vlog my grad photos. So that's what's happening today. Okay, makeup is done, hair is kind of done. I threw my like Revlon tool in my bag. Um, so yeah, we're gonna hope grad photos go okay. We are heading out to go to campus. All right, here I am, literally alone in a school washroom, about to touch up my makeup and hair for my grad photos. I didn't do my lipstick at home because I didn't want it getting all over the place while I walked to campus. But my recent combo has been this Florence lip gloss and then a Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. This little guy. It's the Pillow Talk Oh, it's actually an eyeliner, the Pillow Talk eyeliner I've been using as a lip liner. 
And that is what it ends up looking like. I found out the other day that I have a double lip line. So I've been kind of like underlining and then just like slightly aligning the top a little bit. And I feel like it looks really good and that's why lipstick never looked good on me, but I finally found a way that works. All right, y'all, grad photos is done. I think that was pretty painless and I hope they turned out well. I always find that like professional, those like normal headshots just never end up looking good. So hopefully the grad photos went well because my makeup looks good for once. But we are on our way home now. A little bit more Christmas shopping than I want to do, but I think the rest of the day is just going to be studying. Okay, you guys, I just got home and I had ordered these Amazon Skims dupes. How? Stunning is this dress. I'm obsessed. I will be living in this all winter. I am so in love. Part two. This is the other Skims dress dupe that I just got and it's cute. I don't love the spaghetti straps as well because I don't think it's as flattering on me, but still stunning. Like, I will have them linked on my Amazon storefront, but these, wow. Just wow. Like, I will be living in these. Comfy, flattering. 10 out of 10. <laughs> While I'm here, before I jump into my work for the rest of the day, I wanted to chat about something that has been on my mind. It's literally not even December yet, but I have already kind of started thinking about 2023 and just everything that's coming. And I feel like I'm such a little person, like a a really small fish in a really big pond and like sometimes I feel like I just have these such big ambitions and big plans and things that I want to work on in the new year and I am just so excited for what 2023 is going to bring because I know 2022 is not over but 2022 was such a incredible year that once I'm out of school I feel like that like time and freedom that I'm gonna have is just it's going to be so different and like so challenging but I feel like I have so many ideas of things that I want to work on and work towards in 2023 like projects and just really exciting big things that I'm already starting to think about it and I'm already starting to get excited and like I don't know I've just been so happy recently I feel like I had a really bad October, a really bad start to November, and then like something recently kind of flipped a switch. And like, this is probably the least stressed that I've been at an exam season ever. And whether that's a factor of that I'm not so focused on my grades and I'm focused on just life and what's coming up and yeah. I also feel like I've been chatty a lot more on the vlogs, which I really enjoy because genuinely like my vlogs are because I love sharing my life and I love chatting with you guys and just being real. And I feel like, yes, the podcast is like a super chatty space, but like I miss being chatty on vlogs and like just doing this, like having a thought and sitting down and talking because I feel like I had stopped doing that for a little bit on vlogs, but I kind of want to bring it back a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of where my brain has been at with the new year coming and I of course will do a full new year's reset and like talk in depth about like goal planning, goal setting and like some things coming up and what I'm kind of doing to prep for the new year more towards the end of December, beginning of January because um, I love doing that and I am excited for that as well. But I think I should probably go study for some exams and like work for a little bit. So that is what I am going to do. Um, I don't think I'm going to vlog studying because I really wanted this to be more of a holiday vlog. But either tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to go back to HomeSense as well as go to Michael's and get a tree skirt. And maybe pick up some more like fun Christmassy things. Um, yeah, that's kind of the plan. I know it hasn't been the most holiday vlog. At some point I do want to go to like the Christmas market and stuff. I don't know when that's gonna happen because the next few weeks are like super super busy, but we shall see. Friday, you guys. So after class this morning, I ended up heading out 
to do some afternoon Christmas shopping to try and pull myself together a little bit more for some Christmas decor. I ended up going to Michael's Indigo and then a different home sense to see if there was a little bit more variety rather than the home sense that I already went to. And we were a lot more successful. We got a few things, but for the life of me, I can't currently pick a Christmas theme and you will see. I have a feeling that this little deer, wherever he is, somewhere back there, might end up getting returned um because i just can't can't really decide on a christmas theme besides like i'm going with like some golds and whites and like greens i wanted to try and find the ceramic green tree that was the same as the deer wherever it is the deer back there but couldn't find it so let me start with what i got at michael's look at how cute this is um it's like a gold glittery just says mary sign this was 250. So even if I don't end up going with gold and glittery, it was $2.50, it was cute. I also then got, to, I also then to match got this gold candle. So the lid doesn't exactly go, but like the gold is the same gold. So I thought I'd put these, I don't know, somewhere together. And this is like just a really like Christmassy big candle from Michaels. And it was only $10 because it was on sale regular price it was like 25 so i was like for ten dollars i will yes buy another giant <laughs> candle not that i need more candles but i was like get something gold to go with the gold and call it christmas decor even though it's just a candle next we will start with the other things that i got from home sense and this is the reason why i can't pick a theme so I got this nutcracker that I thought was really, really cute growing up, like both my grandparents, my mom's side, my dad's side, everybody had nutcrackers. And so as much as like some of the nutcrackers that I remember growing up with were really tacky, I thought this one was really basic and cute because it's just plain wood and it also has a little Christmas countdown at the bottom. I thought maybe I'm gonna paint like some of it a little bit white so that it kind of goes with more of my decor because I have a lot of like white themes going on but I picked up these two stockings this is also where like my decor is a little bit confused because I have absolutely no red but this does have like a little bit of red notes and I thought I would hang these like somewhere along my tv stand thing I just fell in love with the design originally I wanted like just something white and basic and fluffy but I was like this actually looks like a sock and it's so cute so it's just like green and red and has some little beige reindeer and I got two of them because I was like you have to have a matching pair of stockings. So I got these and I love them but they don't really go with a ton of my decor so we'll see what I end up doing. And then Indigo also had a bunch of stuff on sale so I'm debating on what to do with the deer like I said but I got one of these paper tree things and it's like the same pastel green color as the deer. So I do have one thing that matches that. And then I got a bigger, like same sort of paper style tree in just white. And these are the only trees that I have right now because I couldn't find any trees like ceramic or wooden or anything that I liked at HomeSense. So I was like, I picked these up last minute. They were nine and $10, so not a whole lot and like reusable, so. But the other two things that I got at Indigo, I am in love with, and they play along with the ceramics theme of like the deer because, oh, they're just so cute. So first is this little ceramic Christmas house and you guys, it lights up. I just thought that's so cute and Christmassy. So I got this one and it was only $12. So I was like, yes, it's cute. And then I got a bigger one to match that lights up as well. I still don't have a garland to put on there, which I don't think I'm gonna end up finding this year just because I haven't found anything yet and it's almost December. So I think I'm just gonna have to call it a day with that one. And then this one was only 13 and 
it lights up as well. So I thought that was a really cute and like it's just warm and glowy and Christmassy little house duo. Um, but that is my Christmas decor haul for now. I also remembered that I had some string fairy lights that I think I will like wrap around there or on my other stand. But I'm gonna set these up and kind of make the house a little bit more Christmassy because right now it is currently that reindeer and my tree and it doesn't feel very Christmassy and I am such a decor gal and it's not Christmassy enough in here yet. So I'm gonna set this up and see what I think. Alright, here's the final little Christmas setup and the little stockings because I don't really have anywhere to hang them off of unless I put some hooks up on the wall, which I don't think I want to do. I think I might also move those picture frames so that it doesn't look quite as cluttered. And I think I also want to put the Nutcracker eventually over on the kitchen counter just to have a little bit of decor over there as well. But I think it's so cute and the green actually ended up matching the green really well. And I like how it turned out like it's aesthetic but also cute and a little bit eclectic like I like I'm gonna end off the vlog here you guys so I hope you enjoyed this few little beginning of holiday days in my life setting up my tree and just like starting to get in the Christmassy holiday mood I will have more holiday vlogs coming I'm not doing vlogmas this year just like the same as every other year because of exam season december is always super crazy busy for me and it's really just not realistic for me to do vlogmas but hopefully next year when i'm no longer in school i can actually do vlogmas it'll be probably my first time ever so yeah but stay tuned for more holiday vlogs and the next video i love you guys so much bye